There's an AI tool for everything. So of course, there's an AI tool to help you practice the art of negotiating, specifically with salaries. And today, we're gonna give it a try. If you're new here, hi, how's it going? My name is Nelly, and I'm on the careers team with Meta Intro, where our goal is to help you land your next opportunity. Before we get into negotiating, here are some crazy statistics you should know about that'll put you in a stronger position to get what you deserve. Starting with the fact that 73% of employers in the United States expect candidates to negotiate salary on initial job offer. However, more than half, 55% of job candidates don't even try to negotiate. Wild, right? The hiring manager is expecting you to negotiate, meaning that there's a likelihood that you're being lowballed to start with. And it gets crazier. Candidates who chose to negotiate see an average of 18.83% in salary increase. Don't leave money on the table, people, because once you're working, asking for a raise can become tricky with office politics, timing, performance, the list goes on. Now, in some scenarios, you'll be offered a compensation package over a video call where you might feel like you're being put on the spot. My recommendation, don't be so quick to say yes. If you're offered something right on the spot, it's okay to say something like, hey, so-and-so employer, I really appreciate your offer and I'm incredibly excited to join the team. Do you mind if I take 24 hours to think about this offer? This way you can take the time to review and digest the offer so that you can make sure it's what you truly want and deserve. So let's say I just got that offer letter. To start, this is the resume that I'll be negotiating. I'll be negotiating for a job offer I just got as a content creator at an awesome tech company. And this is the offer letter. So it looks like for a 40 hour a week position, they're offering 120K plus some good perks. Before I start negotiating, I want to know a tiny bit more about the market rate salary for this position. So I'm going to head to ZipRecruiter and type in content creator. So I can see that the entry level content creator salary in New York is around 140,000 USD. And here at the bottom, it gives me a little bit more information and a summary of these averages and what these numbers mean. Okay, so this looks like a pretty good market rate. To me, benefits are very important. Maybe they're also willing to pay for my content creator here, such as my camera and my mic in a stipend format. So now I'm going to go to ChatGPT and place in my offer letter and my resume. And I'm going to tell it to give me reasoning on asking for more benefits, such as paying for my content creator gear. Okay, so I put in my offer, I put in my resume, and I said, give me reasoning to ask for more benefits, such as paying for my content creator gear. And it gave me a fantastic list of reasons to asking for additional benefits. So proven track record, high quality and engaging content production, content creation gear as a necessary tool for job performance, cost efficiency and quality improvement. And if you'd like to read all of these in more detail, obviously you can pause the video and check it out. And then lastly, industry standards and competitive edge. Then it gave me some suggested additional benefits. So the gear allowance is the one that I told it to give me reasons for, but then it also added subscription to creative tools, which is something I didn't even think about, but editing software is not free and it's also not cheap depending on what you're using. So asking the employer to cover some of these things is a really good idea. Then at the very bottom, it even wrote a counter letter asking um, the employer if they can throw in these additional benefits that I requested, which is fantastic. In the real world, after this, I'd schedule a time to meet with the hiring manager to discuss the offer. Make sure to be polite but firm when renegotiating. Because at the end of the day, if you're not getting the compensation and or benefits that you want, you're not going to be happy at the company, no matter what the company is. All right, team, thanks for tuning in. If you need additional help negotiating an offer, comment below and a member of our careers team will reply. Remember, we're here to help. Until next time, don't just watch, join the Meta Revolution with Meta Intro.